how convincing or, or how basically how much pressure do they really put on you to get what they want? And that's a great question because I, I can't imagine a kid going through that. And they try to adamantly tell me that if I didn't confess to the crime, I wouldn't see my kids. I was going to get life. They have witnesses. They have. They really was trying to convince me that I really did this and that that I have no way out. So, you know, I'm 20 coming into manhood. Right. And I'm like, I'll send you the statement. I told them for for hours. Yo, listen, this is where I was. That wasn't me. I didn't do it. And they kept on interrogating me and switching from good cop to bad cop, good cop to bad cop. You did it. Richard, help yourself. This is the way, this is a black and Hispanic detective at that. Mm. This is a Hispanic, the Hispanic cop kept on putting pressure on me. The black cop kept on telling me, I'm trying to help you, but you're not helping yourself, right? So I went through this for hours and finally he says, you know what? You're not going to help yourself. You're never going to see your kids again and blase, blase. And then the other one came and they did this for a whole day. And then finally they told me, listen, are you ready to confess? And I said, yes. And they said, OK, we're going to get a camera. We're bringing you a pen and paper and you're going to write down what you're going to say. And you're going to say it into the camera. So I said, all right, this this is over. We're not going to keep on going through this. So I wrote on the paper. I passed it to the detective and he read it. His face got red and he blew up and he told me I'll never see my kids in my fucking life, that my wife is going to find somebody else. And he just went crazy because what I wrote on the paper is that 